Who, who's the caller on the line? Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Is it Crondon? Yes. All right, there you go. Can we pull Crondon up, please? Crondon, you on the line? I'm on the line. What's up, man? What's going on, family? What's good with you, man? Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. I definitely the okay. project. The name of the project is what? Stereotype. Stereotype. Stereotype yeah. is coming out or what? You saying another month, February? Well, hopefully, yeah, sometime in February for sure. For it's sure. coming out in February at some point in time. Now, who, now, who, who do we have on this album here? Stereotype. Well, it's produced entirely by um, Stack Selector, and the album, um, you know, is, is definitely you know strong arm steady. It's, I, I'm going to consider it like our third installment as a group and collective. Um, um, first, you know, we had the, the, the album with Mad Libs and Search of Stony Jackson, then we put an album out um, last year called Arms and Hammers through uh, Kwali's label. This, this album, Stereotype, is coming in February. It's our first um, independent release that we're releasing on our own. Um, and you'll be able to download that actually for free via our website, strongarmsteady.net. Um, and it, it features a, a host of talent that we fuck with, like on the West Coast, that's new and up and coming. Catch like... Um, Casey Veggies, uh, Don Kennedy, um, um, the Black Hippie, Schoolboy Q, Absol, um, J Rock, Kendrick Lamar. Um, 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 they got Bad Luck on there from the Diamond Lane. Music. Oh, shout out to my homie Bad Luck. That's the homie right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Bad Luck, me and Bad Luck was really close together for the last few years, couple of years, and 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 um, this is going to be kind of like. Well, he actually was on like an unreleased joint that came out on the Madlib album, but he didn't actually make the album. Um, but this is going to be like the first time where, where, where me and Bad Luck are actually putting out a real record together. We got a bunch of records so that's going to come out. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, you came up under who originally? Um, well, like the cat that put me on, like, uh, uh, like put me on a, a mainstream level would have to be Exhibit. It has to be Exhibit. To him, yeah, it has to be him. Man. You have to give him all that love and credit and admiration. I always do, always will. I mean, even my brand, Strong Arm Steady, he was the first to really put us on a major platform and on television every day and on, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and put our records in stores and we were able to create a gold record with him with uh, Weapons of Mass Destruction, which was um, his last record through Sony, but was kind of our coming out record, was our, our premier record. And then, you know, went on to do, you know, our deal with, 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 uh, excuse me, with Warner Brothers and he wasn't a part of that deal, but, but it was still love and all in, in, in terms of purposes and then, you know, from there, the brand kind of just branched off and, and did its own thing. But he gets that credit, man. My first ever major tour, or like I say, ever going to be on MTV or BT, it, it, it was ushered in through X to the Z. Right, that's what it is. Now, I, I read somewhere that um, there was a misunderstanding with people, I, I guess, thought there was some sort of tension between you two? No, nah, well, well, people thought, well, because we went and signed the Kwali's label, um, Kwali and Corey Smith. Let me not never leave Corey Smith because really Corey Smith was the businessman and Kwali is the rapper. And and when we went and signed to Corey Smith and Kwali's imprint, Blacksmith to Warner, X felt like like it was kind of like you know, um, um, in his best interest not to be a part of that and kind of let us run that and, and, and do and do what we had to do with that. And people like took that at, in a way, you know and. It really wasn't like that. It has never been no beef or no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing behind that. So for the most part, you guys are, you know, you guys are still good. There's no issues. You know, you just had to make a business decision, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's real. Listen, I, I, I was kind of confused. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, motherfuckers say shit, and then I, like, I've heard exhibits say shit, and niggas be emotional and all of that shit. Like, I don't really get it. get with the emotions of men. At all, you know what I mean? Like, like that's not a, a, a man characteristic from nobody. Like, every man gets emotional, though, you know, at times, and, and, and speaks publicly and has bad days and shit like that. Like, I, I think, you know, now with this whole social network and multimedia thing and Twitter and all that shit, you're, you're able to, to, uh, to, to you know, to, to receive what a man is going through or a woman is going through, especially an entertainer and artist that, you know, followed by so many, you know? But I don't ever really get into that shit. I don't really play into it, you know, and, 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 and feed it. Like, it never, nothing really ever happened, like, got out of hand or nothing like that. And that was, it was really quite some time. And we went on and flourished way, way beyond, you know, what we was expected to do. So, I, I, I you know. 
I love everybody man. at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know about that loving everybody at the end of the day, but I, I'm not mad at you there, Tom. Now, would you ever see yourself working with uh, Exhibit again in the near future? Is that, is that a done deal? Um, shit, I, we have worked together actually. We we did some um, ghost writing, um, co-writing um, together. Um, yeah. Uh, not, not, not recently, but. Um, not that long ago. So, but, but now nah, I, I don't know. As far as like him on my shit or be on his shit or something like that, I don't know. Anything is possible, man. I don't, I don't rule nothing out. Now this Negro is still doing music. Uh, exhibit. Exhibit is still doing music. I don't know. Cause that's the. I was gonna say that, but like I'm gonna let you say that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I haven't heard him even like recording it the most recent time. So. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he's, he's mighty capable of doing it, but I don't know <laughs> that he's actually doing it. Though. Yeah, last so time I, I saw Exhibit, he was running around with a uh, bunch of Mexicans at an auto body and shop. He was but, pimping you know. people's cars on <laughs> yeah, MTV. Yeah, that was my nigga. <laughs> yeah, dealing with the Mexicans at the auto body <laughs> shop, but I, I didn't know he was putting <laughs> albums out again. The opposite of that, that, you know, that, you know I, I, I really, I haven't heard nothing from bro as far as on the music side. So I would love to hear something, but I haven't heard nothing. Well, look, I personally, I used to like his music, so I hope he does come out and, and, and do something. But you know, I, I don't, I don't know. So, how's the situation going over there on, um, you know, uh, Quali's label? Or what, what's the name of the label there? Black what? Black Smith. Black Smith, yeah, records. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I know it has some uh, Negroish name. How's everything going <laughs> over there with that dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, let me tell you something uh, First off, Karan Don I really don't like uh, Talib Kweli I love his music But I don't like him personally for, uh, I can dig it I can dig it I, I, I'm, I'm not going to You're not going to hear no, no rebuttal from me <laughs> Yeah, nah he, he got too Hollywood on me Once upon a time So ever since then You know, I, I can't yeah. rock with that dude So you make sure He don't Hollywood you, man Everything good on that label? I, I'm, I'm actually not on that label anymore so No it's like, like <laughs> that, We was on that label Look, bro, I'm going to tell you Keep it 100 with you we, we was on that label We signed that label in 2006 My brother And I wasn't able to put my album out Through his label Until 2011 So hold on You, you was on that label f- From 2006 To 2011 to- And you put out one album? One album Now see this is what I mean With, with this Negro here uh, well, Did we have another guest an Speak on that? that? Just know this Look look Let's not make an interview about that Hey we'll roll something Hold on Let's not make the interview about that. I'm not. Let's make I'm the interview not. About 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 knowing that I'm not a part of that movement no more. You know that was five years and a chapter that is closed. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Five years with one album and that nigga doing idol worship and and all this other crazy wild. Shit. Yeah, he running around with these Asian chicks uh, all over <laughs> the goddamn city. Yeah. So, but that's all I, I love that brother. But listen, let me say this: we're in Louis back ta- too, backpacks and uh, you know Kango hats. This nigga here. Right, for giving for giving my my brand an opportunity, man. But if you, I want you to for real, for real understand this, brother. Strong Arm Steady was built off of off of blood, sweat, and tears of of, of 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 passion for the music and for for the progression of the West Coast. And I don't mean on some gangster shit, on some real shit. I mean everybody's a gangster, but I think to keep it G is to keep it grown. So like 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 everybody like like everybody gets it fucked up because we signed to artists and we and we signed to Quali and we were down with exhibit but. But those niggas, and this is from my mouth, those niggas was down with us, brother. While he came and went and wanted to do a deal with us because we was in the West Coast popping. You know what I'm saying? And still popping. So right. know that it's really about, I'm not I'm not here to bash nobody, nothing, but you know, we're not a part of that brand no more. That that was lovely, though. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we got money over there, and, and, and but we didn't put out music. And we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do what we came to do there. But but all things happen for a reason, my brother, as you know. And if you go to strongarmsteady.net, that's our shit. It's completely by us. It's, it's, it's not no label bullshit and politics. And, you know, like I couldn't get my website together and my shit the way I wanted to, to do when I was there for five fucking years. But now, like I say, it's all good. Go to .net, strongarmsteady.net. It's juk. It's jukin', bruh. You know what I'm saying? So, Listen, you know, whatever hey. with that shit. But that shit. Look, I'm gonna get into the strong arm city thing in a second, you know, because that's a whole nother uh, quagmire. But I'm definitely gonna talk about that, you know. So strongarmcity.net, everybody can check out the music and everything.